Hello everyone, welcome to my 30th tutorial. This tutorial I'm going to explain what is a skybox, what kind of skyboxes there are in Unity, and how can you implement a skybox in your game. So a skybox basically is a large box that surrounds our world in our game. For skybox is also a six-sided cube. So skybox surrounds all our game. So let me show you where can you get a skybox. So you can go to the Unity Asset Store. You can download here some free skyboxes. So if you download this, this uh, this is a pack of five or ten different and free skyboxes. So you can download whichever you like. So let me show you what is a skybox. So I downloaded Space Skies right here. And I'm going into my folder Skybox 1. So I have a material here that has a skybox or six sided shader. So basically, a six sided shader means that you make six different textures that correspond to each of the six sides of our skybox because our skybox is a six sided cube. So if we drag and drop this texture inside Unity, you can see that. Uh, this is our skybox and from these values here you can change how bright it is because exposure is how bright is our skybox so if I make it 10 you can see that it, it is very bright let's make it free to default and rotation basically you can change uh, rotation here basically rotation changes uh, rotation of skybox around our y axis is very important to know. So if I make here 10, you can see that it rotates a little bit. Let's make it zero. I think that's fine. So if you want your default skybox again from Unity, go right here to Window, then select Rendering, Lighting Settings, and then just change your skybox material. So click on that circle here. And change your skybox material from this material to default. So, write this. And there we go. Now we have again our default skybox. So let's create a new material and, and make it a skybox. So I'm going to create a new folder in our assets. So new folder. And I'm going to call it materials. And I'm going to open that folder and create right click create new material skybox material so in the previous tutorial i told what is a shader but i'll tell now too so basically a shader defines what properties and what textures does our material has so this is our standard shader so if we want to have a skybox we have to change our shader to skybox shader so click on this and then go to skybox and then choose one of these options. So you saw what is a six sided skybox. Let's make it panoramic. So in panoramic skybox, what is this I'll show you now. Basically, you drag and drop a texture here and this texture surrounds all your scene and all your world in your game. So let's find a texture here. This kind of texture, yes. I want this. And let's make sure that our material is selected. Then go to our texture. Okay. And then just drag and drop this texture from here to right here. Let's drag and drop it. Nice. And now our material has this kind of texture. And when we drag that texture inside Unity scene, you can see that we have a skybox and again you can change its settings here so let's go back to materials you can change exposure how bright it is you can rotate it again let's make it one you can rotate it around the y axis and you can change also the, the tint color so basically what tint color you want your game to look like Let's uh, let's go again to lighting settings. 
and set our skybox material to default like this okay so i'm going to show you now a different kind of skybox with which you can make sunsets and sunrises so let's go back again to our materials and create a new material so right click create material uh procedural skybox and then change this material shader from standard to skybox and then make it procedural basically when your shader is this kind you can change the sun size so how big your sun want to be and also you can change the atmosphere thickness so let's drag and drop this right here and if i change the atmosphere thickness to like this you can see that we have something like a sunset right there so play around with these values and you can also change our sky tint so what color you want your sky to be and play around with these values but i'm going to leave it like that so depending on how your game wants to look like you can play around with these values and again let's change it back to default and the final kind of skybox i want to show you today is a new material so this is the cube map skybox so basically cube map is a thick square texture that represents reflection of environment and basically this is something like an imaginary cube and each face of this cube represents view along directions of our axis so if you select cube map uh, you have to drag a new texture here you can again change its exposure rotation and tint color and and that is basically it for today so thank you very much for watching if you have any questions or comments or suggestions for my future projects please leave them down in the comments below i'll try my best to answer them and let me know what tutorials you guys want to see next so thank you very much for watching have a great day and until next time bye